us, we shall overcome. For this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. God bless every one of you that are under the sound of my voice. You are listening to Apostle Gene Morris, giving God the glory for every victory. And I'm going to just share with you briefly from the Word of God, reading from Colossians, the second chapter, beginning at the eighth verse. Beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. After the tradition of men, after the rudiments of the world, and not after Christ. For in him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. And we are complete in him, which is the head of all principality and power. And whom also we are circumcised with the circumcision made without hands in the putting off of the flesh, the body of the sins of the flesh, by the circumcision of Christ. I'm going to skip down to the 14th verse. Blotting out the handwriting of ordinances that were written against us, which was contrary to us, and took it out of the way. Yes, nailing it to his cross, and having spoiled principalities and powers, he made a show of them openly, triumphing over them in it. For this cause we have victory in Jesus. And we have the foundation of faith that gives us a sure foundation in that we shall overcome. What is it then? The weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Weapons of our warfare. Remembering that we do not war after the flesh, but after the spirit. And we are admonished to put on the whole armor of God that we may be able to stand in the evil day. And certainly this is an evil day. The fulfillment of the prophecy, evil men would wax worse and worse. Yes, and in the last days, men will give heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. And they are religious devils, religious spirits. There are people that are after the octonies, written about in 3 John. The man that desired to have full preeminence, loving to have the preeminence, yes, that is not the will of God. For we walk with the Lord in humility, realizing that all of us are just recipients of grace. For by grace are you saved, and through faith and that not of yourself, it is the gift of God. By grace are you saved. All of us are saved by grace because of the grace of Jesus Christ and no other person who was found worthy to be able to stand and to withstand who was able to prevail in that Jesus prevailed yes and the scripture said he will divide the spoil with the strong who are the strong those that follow him in the fullness So let me encourage you now, continue to go forward, continue to do the will of God, which is praying with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching. At this time, we must pray. We must prevail in prayer. 
we must fulfill the mandate that we would be God's priesthood. The royal priesthood. Washed in the blood of Jesus with our names written in the Lamb's book of life. And having done all to stand. That is our mandate. We must stand. Praying always. I'm going to say it again. Praying always with all prayer and supplication. Praying in the spirit. There are those that have left the foundation of Acts 1 and 8. After that, the Holy Ghost has come upon you, you shall receive power. In the book of Acts, when the tongues of fire lit on those that were in the upper room, the next supernatural event was they were transferred into heavenly places in the spirit, and they began to speak languages that were not theirs. God will elevate any person that will have faith and give their minds and their hearts and their lives to him, that they may be transferred and, yes, even translated into heavenly places that they too can speak languages that are not of theirs, their own. Why? Paul explained, if I pray in an unknown tongue, my spirit prayeth, but my understanding is unfruitful. Yes, there are times when the Holy Ghost will utter through us prayers in languages of heaven. Yes, praying in an unknown tongue, our spirit prays. And now we need such a prayer. We need the prayer that goes beyond our Father which art in heaven, and that is great in its own right, in its own time, but now we need supernatural activity in the heavens to bombard that which is our enemy and to go past all gravitational pull unto the throne of grace. Let me encourage you to press up, press your way, Press your way. Press your way. It's a press. We press through praises. Press through worship. Press through even quoting the word of God as the sword of the spirit. We must press. And when you press, still there will be warfare. But having done all to stand, stand. God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the blood of Jesus. We thank you that we have access to you and we're able to come boldly to you. Now, God, I lift up the body of Christ everywhere, all over the land and country. Strengthen your people everywhere. Strengthen leadership. Strengthen those that are followers. Strengthen us, Lord, that we may be able to do your will in this time and fulfill your purpose in the earth realm. Let men and women, boys and girls who have not repented, we lose your power to bring them under subjection to the spirit of adoption that they will too come to repentance. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, God, we look to you and we will give you the glory for the victories and we will say that you have done it in Jesus' name. Now, God bless you, beloved. Stay encouraged, and above all things, stand. We shall overcome. God bless.